we're gonna destroy the Philly cheesecake myth that it's that hard. <laughs> it's gonna be easy. Easiest sandwich you ever cook. Oh yeah. Tender. Philly cheesesteak, we're gonna start with a cheap roll. This was 50 cents. A bell pepper, another bell pepper. A sweet onion, Vidalia onion, cause it was there. But you can use any onion. Cremini mushrooms. No cheese whiz, American cheese. And a cheap cut of meat. This was a uh, London broil. It was two pounds for like five bucks. I'm gonna use a cheap cut of meat because ribeye should not be wasted on this sandwich. I'm gonna, I'm gonna prove that to you. Philly cheesesteak is not hard to do. It's easy. This is the West Coast. We're gonna show you how it's done. Oh! All right, so we're gonna throw everything in the pan. Onions first, then bell pepper, then mushroom. A little bit of oil over a medium flame. Okay, so we're starting to smoke over here. And then we're gonna throw the onions first so we can get good caramelization. In the restaurant, we would do this ahead of time so your Philly cheesesteak was a lot quicker. And that's it, we're gonna throw everything in. Oh yeah. I'm gonna turn the heat up because there's that water from the bell pepper and the mushroom. And this isn't even that bad for you. I mean, there's a little oil in it, but it's mostly vegetables and that beef is lean. Instead of cutting it into like little pieces or thin pieces, you want to cut a little bit thicker so it's a little rare inside, since there's not a lot of fat. That's how easy this is. I don't know what the big debate is. Like those two places in Philly where everyone's like saying, oh, this is the, this is, it's gonna be good no matter what. I don't get it. The cheese is already melting. It's so freaking hot and it works. But this is how we did it in the restaurant. Do it every way you want. There's, this is freestyle, who cares? Ooh, it's hot. So there it is. Crunchy on the outside. It's hot. I'm gonna cut it, but not all the way end to end. You're just gonna kind of like start it. Let it cool down. Never. So we're gonna cut it. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna do this quick. So watch. So it's like this, a little starter, and then you're gonna go down into it. Go up a little bit. You're gonna go down into it. Ooh, it's hot. Ooh, to the end, because you want it, ow, you want it like that, because watch. Uh, now we're going to go, it's steaming, and that's what's going to melt the cheese. Boom. Going to put it over like that. So you push it down, get it going, and voila. Woo. And there you have it. Scrape up all of that. This is, a, this is supposed to be messy, like a hamburger. This is a cheese steak. This is a Philly cheese steak. We used to chop it in the restaurant. Oh! <laughs> 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 when you're eating the bread, I was like, what about the steak? This is a cheese steak. This is a Philly cheese steak. I was a vegetarian <laughs> in 2001, and I used to always make them without meat, and I still have that habit. That's insane. That's so weird. <laughs> so if you like vegetarian, we'll just change the title. <laughs> it's a vegetarian cheese steak. It's even cheaper. <laughs> All right, we'll start again. I'm gonna show you how quick it is. This is real time. <laughs> real time right now. I'll put a timer. <laughs> I'm fucking throwing everything in. Like, <laughs> like in the restaurant, when you gotta do it, you gotta do it. As long as the flavors are right. Woo, that's hot. We're going to cut the meat. So basically, it's this thick. Yeah, so we're just gonna sear it. That's it. Salt it, sear it, pepper it on one side, then we'll mix it all together and it's good. It's ready to go. A little bit of oil. I don't like that thing. Hot. And this is London broil, so do it quick. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Roll. 350. Salt. Pepper. pepper. I shall show you. Caramelization, the browning, whatever you want to call it. Ooh, it's hot. Voila, that's good enough. I never had cheese melt like that much just sitting here. That's insane. What is it in here, like 90? Yeah. 100? And we're in Southern California, this is what we're paying for. That's all it took. It's crunchy. Wow, it's crunchy. I guess I should do that. Yeah, yeah I just wanted to show you how to do it again. And then go down. What? Yeah. Sprays it right there. And this is where you prove your manliness. 
I'm telling you, it doesn't matter. The end result is how it tastes. Everybody from Philly talking shit now. Which one am I showing? Here? Yeah. Mmm, look at that. That's good. Mmm. That was real quick. I don't know how long that took. Probably what? Five, ten minutes? Oh man, it's hot. This is good. This is steaming. Can you see it? You can see it. It's steaming. Whew. I'm good. But look at that. That's my favorite part. Where the cheese is, you can put it on top. It's that caramelization. Mmm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> it is really good. It's the meat somehow. is really good. And that's cheap London broil. Screw that ribeye crap. I have flat. No, I have. Yeah, I have flat iron in here. I don't want to use it for that. I'm going to use that for the next wow. video. It's good, huh? Real good. It's crazy how meat can change something completely different. Fucking A. <sighs> What's so hard about this? They make it sound so difficult, I don't get it. Meat, whatever's on sale, don't worry about it. I'm using ribeye to eat as a steak. I don't know what else to say. Philly cheesesteaks are overrated, but they're really good. They're overrated in the fact that they're not that hard to do. Like I guess I get the bread, get your damn ingredients that you want to do. You can do just mushroom, you can do just honey, you can do just whatever. Just do it. And don't pay for it. I mean, the best one around here is like, what? Ow! Thank you for your time. Hopefully it was welcoming <laughs> into my kitchen. Hopefully there was some comedy. And hopefully you'll try this and tell me wrong or tell me right. That's it. Look at it. Tender.